Okay, for those of you working through the spreadsheets modeling section um, at home, it's not a very complicated section. The key thing here is to read through the instructions carefully to make sure that you've either got Excel or LibreOffice or OpenOffice um, or another spreadsheet package on your computer in order to work through it, and then to follow the instructions carefully. So in each one, you'll see a run through. So in this case, it talks about introducing spreadsheets. The OneNote can be at times slow, so you just need to show a bit of patience on here and just wait for it to load. And then it talks about how a numerical data and formulae can be used. It starts to show you the difference between what a column is and what a row is, about what things like the active cell references here. So you can see at this moment that we've selected G19, so it's showing up there. The exercises are all reflected in your own areas down here in the spreadsheet section, and that's where you'll need to complete them. Now, the first exercise, exercise one, is pretty simple. It starts by saying things like write down the names of at least two spreadsheet packages you've used. So Excel could be one, but you could also look at what the Apple version is, what the Google version is, what the Libre Office version is. When you get further down, there's an example of a spreadsheet. Now, you'll spot straight away I've made a spelling mistake, and obviously it would be great if you fix that. You will need to type this out into your spreadsheet package. You'll then need to submit a screenshot of this, but you'll need to keep the file as well. And that's a key point here because you'll need to hand the file in later, but you're going to do more with it. So if we go into exercise two, you'll discover it's the same file we're working with. So if you've not kept it, you're going to need to start again. And when this loads in a second, you'll see that the big difference here is that we've now changed the value in C4. So we've taken the same thing, but we've updated the value. Then we're inserting an empty row between row one and two. So we've now got a space in here. We're inserting an empty column between A and B. So we end up with an empty space here. We're adjusting the column widths and heights so the data can be seen. We're adding some colors. This hasn't happened yet. This is something you'll need to do. And this continues through it. Now, if you're doing this at home and you're unable to come into school, each lesson should be worth an hour. Now, I'm suspecting that in most cases you should be able to get through at least a couple of exercises in a lesson, so that's what you should be aiming to do.